House Speaker Nancy Pelosi says the House will vote on President Biden's $1.9 trillion COVID relief package as early as Friday. It's about putting vaccinations in the arm, money in the pocket, children in the schools, workers in their jobs. The bill would provide direct aid to small businesses, $1,400 direct checks to Americans making less than $75,000 annually increase the child tax credit, and provide funding for vaccine distributions and schools. Just so we can keep this economy going till we can open up the system, open up the economy. I wouldn't send the Congress to bankrupt the country. This is borrowed money. South Carolina Republican Congressman Ralph Norman says the bill is too expensive. And I don't think you're going to find many Republicans that are going to favor this bill, if any. Still, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi says the bill has enough Democratic support to pass before moving on to the Senate. But senators remain split over a provision that would increase the minimum wage to $15 an hour. Republicans oppose the hike. So they're going to oppose direct checks to struggling families, another round of assistance for small businesses money for schools and vaccinations. The argument's absurd. And some Democrats, including Senators Joe Manchin of West Virginia and Kirsten Sinema of Arizona, also say they oppose a $15 wage hike. Senator Manchin proposed lowering it to $11 an hour. In Washington, I'm Anna Warnicke.